How's it going everybody? A's Raiders Dub Sharks here. Over these past couple months, I have acquired a lot of cool merchandise for all four of my major sports teams and I want to show it off for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, I have a really, really cool item to show you guys that I bought today at Macy's actually. Uh, here it is, a Philadelphia A's 1930 World Series hat. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, this isn't the traditional green and yellow A's colors that you see on your everyday A's hat, right? Exactly right. This is the Philadelphia era style, um, which they had up in their Philadelphia days where they wore blue and kind of a cream color white. Um, and as you can see, it has a very detailed 1930 World Series patch on it. I love World Series hats. I have a couple of them now, uh, quite a few actually. And obviously it was before they wrote A's, it's just an A. And you know, I think it's awesome. And I couldn't pass up on this because these Philadelphia Ace hats are extremely rare. You hardly ever see them. They're, they're not made that much, but I found it at Macy's, the least expecting place to find, you know, good sports stuff, let alone rare Ace hats, especially hard to find with this patch. Um, it was pretty expensive. It was around $41 with all the tax and everything, $38 retail. Um, and I just think this is just so cool. I love the cream white kind of off white color background. The blue, the royal blue sticks out. Obviously, have the blue brim, but that is just so cool. Um, and I really love that. As you can see, the patch really sticks out. And there you guys go. Philadelphia Ace Hat. It's my third Philadelphia Ace Hat ever. So let's move on. All right, guys. I just went to my doorstep, and sure enough, there was a package there. This thing is pretty big. I got this from eBay, so let's open this thing up. All right, here we go. All right, this looks pretty sweet. I can already see what it looks like. All right, here we go. Basically, what this thing is, a Raiders jacket. So, here we go. On the front, it says Raiders. Um, you got the Raiders logo on the side. Uh, it's really, really cool. You got another one on here, patches on the side, on the back. I like, this is my favorite part. This says Oakland Raiders, really cool. It's obviously mostly white, but has gray on it. This was very expensive, but, and probably I paid a lot, way too much for it, but this was $160, but I think it's worth it because it's really cool. Obviously you got a pocket in the middle right here, but yeah, look right there. You got the Raiders logo, the script, obviously gray, black, and white are the main colors. And there you go. Pretty cool. All right, guys, now I have a package from eBay. Let's open this thing up. Okay. So this is a Jersey actually. I got this from eBay, like I said. As you can see, a white number four Derek Carr jersey. It's pretty cool. I don't have a white Derek Carr jersey, or I think I only have three white Raiders jerseys anyways. Um, and yeah, there you guys go. Let's put this thing on real quick. All right, so there, as you can see, here's the jersey. Um, like I said, got it from eBay. Pretty nice fit. Um, as you can see, Derek Carr number four on the back. Uh, obviously the quarterback for the Raiders, so nice to have that. I don't have any current Derek Carr jerseys that fit me, so I'm glad I could have got this. Um, and there you guys go. Raiders number four, Derek Carr white away jersey. There you go. And yeah, that's it. Alrighty guys, I got a package from eBay, just arrived at my doorstep, so let's open this thing up. So as you can see, it's a t-shirt. It is made by Junk Food and it is a vintage style Oakland Raiders shirt uh, in a gray font, as you can see right there. Very nice quality, very soft. Junk Food is a kind of obscure, um, lesser known brand, but they have really cool NFL shirts. And obviously this must've been made a couple years ago because it says Oakland, but pretty, pretty nice quality right there. I love that font. Um, I like the two-tone gray and white. That's kind of the main reason I got it. Obviously you got the stars, Raiders football in 1960, and then with the primary logo. Um, and there you go. So it's junk food, Oakland Raiders, vintage style shirt, and add that one to my collection. So yeah. Alrighty guys, I just went to my doorstep and sure enough, there's a package there. So let's open this thing up. Alrighty, so it looks like what we have here is a 47 brand Oakland Raiders t-shirt. And yep, it is Oakland. So it says Oakland on it obviously um as you can see white it's like a cream color um there you guys go obviously i love the merchandise that says oakland here's an oakland raiders hat right here uh but yeah this says oakland it was pretty decent price from ebay as you can see it's a 47 brand so in my opinion they make the most comfortable shirts 
if you're trying to get a, like a shirt that's going to be good quality, I recommend that. Um, here's the t original tag on it. The original price was $32.99, so I think I got a really good deal. I think it was only about $14 for me. Uh, the, pretty simple, right? Just Oakland Raiders in a pretty cool font with the logo. Uh, not much about it, but pretty cool shirt. And yeah. All right, so I got a hat to show. This hat I got today from the mall. Um, this is a Warriors, it looks simple, right? But on the side, there is a 2018 NBA Champions patch, um, which was obviously our most recent championship win. Um, and I probably wouldn't have gotten this if it weren't for the fact that it was $5. This hat was $5 on sale, um, originally 33 on the bottom there it says. So really, really good sale. Uh, as you can see, it is a stretch fit hat, but it fits perfectly. I like these fits a lot. Uh, with the stretch ones and yeah i think you know it's cool because it's simple with obviously just the normal logo they wore uh they have changed it since then a little bit but on the side you got that pretty cool patch champions on the side that makes it different and it was only five dollars like i said so you really can't pass up that offer but yeah there you go warriors 2018 champions new era hat from a local shop in my mall. So yeah, there you go. Alrighty guys, I just went to my doorstep and I found a box at my door waiting for me. So this is from Fanatics actually. I can't wait to open it up. But before I open it, I just wanna give you guys a little bit of a hint on what it is. It's basically a spinoff of this shirt, kind of a little bit different, but it's a hat. So let's open this thing up, all right? Oh, sweet. All right, so this is a Sharks colored Warriors hat. From Fanatics, I didn't really suspect them to have this. It's fitted, it's a new era, 59.50 hat. It was pretty expensive, it was about $44 when it was all said and done with shipping. As you can see, it's the teal and black color and the Warriors bridge right there. It's so sweet. You could wear this with a Warriors jersey or a Sharks jersey. And like I said, it's kind of a spin off of this. This is a shark shirt in Warriors colors. So really, really cool, really, Cool design all obviously of the NBA logo back there um, and yeah there you guys go Warriors hat San Jose Sharks colors now let's move on all right so I got another hat this hat is a Warriors hat it is a white the town hat and I never seen this before before today got this from the mall I have this hat in black I one in kind of a dark gray color and I found it in white and I thought it would be cool to get uh, this one was on sale as well. You got a monochromatic kind of NBA logo on the back. Uh, obviously, it is a snapback, but it is flat brim. Um, I like the fit of it, pretty nice. And I think this will you know, go well with my stuff because it is black and white, so it kind of goes with everything. Um, as you can see, the town script. Like I said, I do have a very similar hat to this, but I think getting the white one was a good choice uh, because the town stuff isn't really getting made as much anymore because the Warriors don't wear that jersey anymore. On the side, you have the W logo for Warriors, obviously. And yeah, really nice hat. I like the color of it. I think you know, the brim being black is also really cool. Um, made by New Era, obviously, snapback. So yeah, there you go. Warriors, the town, white hat. All right, so this next item was from the mall. It was from a sports shop in the mall that I like to go to. And this is a Raiders helmet logo hat. As you can see, it is a stretch fit hat. I like it a lot. And one thing I like about it the most is this logo is actually kind of metallic. It has a lot of depth in it, a lot of good detail. Um, so pretty nice design. Uh, you got the Raiders script on the back. It was 25% off and I thought it was cool anyway. So I decided on getting it. Um, but yeah, there you go. I like the, the fact that the brim is white. I think it adds some good contrast. Um, pretty nice. The brim is uh, pretty curved, which is good. I like that too. Um, and pretty nice fit. It is a fitted hat, but it does stretch. So really nice design. And yeah, there you go. Raiders helmet logo hat. All right, so this next item is pretty interesting. So today at the mall, I got a Jason Witten Raiders shirt. And I think it was pretty funny. I kind of got it as a little bit as a joke because obviously we all know that Jason Witten was super good on the Cowboys on them for over 15 years. And the fact that they made Raiders shirts for him, even though he only played on them for one year and sold them at a mall, is pretty interesting. So yeah, there you go, it's Nike, Jason Witten shirt, kind of like a jersey as they call it because it's like kind of replicating a jersey look. Um, but there you go, Raiders logo on the front, number 82. Um, and yeah, I like it. Pretty cool shirt, I guess, for you know a decent price because he retired, so they kind of put that stuff on sale. 
but yeah, Jason Witten t-shirt, pretty nice. All right, so this next item I have is a jersey. Um, it was actually a stadium giveaway back in 2014, I believe, um, because it has the 2013 West Division Champs patch on it. So this is a yellow Oakland Athletic Stadium giveaway jersey, and I got this from eBay. Um, I don't have that much yellow A's merchandise, but there you go, pretty cool. And you got the elephant logo. Um, and then on the back, it's Josh Donaldson. He was a great player for the A's. Probably heard of him because he's been on other teams as well. Uh, Donaldson number 20. And then like I said, the, probably the coolest part of the jersey in my opinion is this little logo that says 2013 AL West Division Champions because that was, besides 2020, that was the last time we won the division. Um, so yeah, there you go. It's just a stadium giveaway, so it's not like any specific brand, but it's still really cool. Kind of a casual jersey that you can wear around. And Donaldson, obviously happy to have a jersey of him. Um, and yellow A's jersey, so there you go, pretty cool. All right, so I got another hat. This is a hat I got from eBay. This is an Oakland Athletics, pretty unique hat. Um, new era on the side. I've never really seen anything like it. It kind of has this cool, interesting cloud design there in the middle, um, you know, kind of depicts some you know crazy uh, design right there. A is obviously in the middle in green. On the back, you have Athletics. It's a snapback and you have this cool like MLB underbrim. Um, so I like that a lot. And yeah, I mean, it, it looks like a basic hat from a distance, but when you look closely, you can see that pretty cool logo, um, which I really like. Um, and I, like I said, it's pretty unique. I haven't seen many designs with like a crazy logo in the middle like that. So I really like that a lot. And there you go. Pretty cool new era snapback hat. Alrighty guys, I got another item here. This is a Oakland A's hat that I got today at the Oakland A's game. I got it outside of the stadium. Some guy was selling hats for only $5, and obviously it's not official, but I thought it looked really cool. Um, as you can see, it kind of has that cool cursive script. It says Oakland A's Athletics right here. It's yellow all around. I don't have that many yellow A's hats, so I thought I would be a good pickup, and it's really cheap. Um, green underbrim, uh, you know, the green on the top. Really cool hat right there. I really like it. Um, I think it'll go well with my jerseys. I really like cursive fonts. Um, in general, so I like to add this. And yeah, there you go. All right, so if you guys watched my Arizona vlog, you saw me buy this, but this is the A's spring training hat I ended up buying at Ho Ho Com Stadium. And I bought it mainly because of this. It says spring training on the side, so I'll always remember I got it from there. And it has this alternate logo, which I don't have that many hats for or merchandise. And I think this is one of the better A's logos out there. Obviously it has the elephant with standing on top of the baseball with the bat. They've had this logo for many, many years. And I like it, the gray color, cause you know, it's, an, it's a color the A's don't use too often. Um, it's a 920 uh, new era hat. Uh, got it from Hohocom Stadium, so pretty cool. Um, I like the fit of it a lot, uh, kind of that low profile look to it. But there you go, pretty cool hat. New era, like I said, spring training on the side and A's uh, shoulder patch logo they actually wear, but mainly they're alternate, so pretty cool. So these next two items were also from Arizona. These were from Gila River Arena, home of the Arizona Coyotes. So this first item here is a puck. And on the this side is the Coyotes reverse retro uh, logo and design. And on the other side is just the normal Coyotes jersey design. And I decided to get a puck as my um, item to get there because I wanted some way to remember this game, but I didn't want to get like something like a shirt where I'd wear, because I'm not a Coyotes fan. I think we all know that. I'm not a Coyotes fan, but I wanted to remember it. And I feel like a puck is something that just sits on your shelf and I feel like it's more neutral. So I got a puck just to remember how the experience was. And I do like the reverse retro look. So I wanted to get that. And the second thing, I got this because it was only $2.90, this pack of cards. Um, I think I'm going to keep it in the box just because, you know, it's kind of how it's, I guess, in my opinion, meant to be. On the back here, it has all of the players uh, on the Arizona Coyotes. Obviously, you see it was very on sale. Um, good price for it. Um, but yeah, good pickup. You know, you got the team set of the cars, two things that you can just remember the stadium. And yeah, that's all I got from Gila River Arena in Arizona. All right, so this next shirt I got at the Giants Spring Training Stadium. And this is just a spring training shirt. And on the back is all the team's logos from the Cactus League. Obviously got the A's on there. And I got it because it's neutral. I was at the Giants Stadium, like I said, so they were selling a lot of Giants stuff. But this isn't really in favor of any team. It's just a spring training shirt for the MLB. 
Um, and I like the design on the back mostly. The front is very simple, but I like on the back because you can see every team that actually plays in Arizona during spring training. Um, and it's cool because obviously I got to go to a couple games. So I'll remember this. It's made by New Era, which they don't really make that many shirts, but I think it's very good material, very good quality. Pretty simple front, like I said. It just says spring training with the MLB logo. Um, but yeah, nothing much to say about it because it's very simple, but a very cool shirt and yeah. All right, so I got an item here that I recently got. This is a Raiders backpack and it's pretty cool. I don't actually have a Raiders backpack right now. I do have backpacks of like all my teams just to bring stuff around. If I go to a game, I might bring it. But there you go. It's a really nice quality backpack. Um, there's the back of it. Just has the big Raiders logo there. Really nice logo. Feels pretty cool. Um, and I, I really like it because, you know, got to represent the Raiders everywhere. So I like that logo a lot. Um, I like the backpack a lot. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah. All right, guys, I have another item for you here. This is a kind of vintage style Lyle Alzado t-shirt. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Lyle Alzado is a defensive player on the Raiders back in the old days. He was really legendary. He's a Hall of Famer. As you can see, has his last name there in a pretty cool kind of gothic looking font um, with him, obviously. It's a black t-shirt, uh, which I like for Raiders shirts, obviously. And it's really cool. I like the simple design. And since he's a Hall of Famer, it's nice to have those legend shirts. I like having old players. Um, so there you guys go. A Lyle Alzado Raiders t-shirt. Cool logo. All right, guys, I have an item here. This is a Raiders kind of mesh trucker style hat. Um, as you can see, it's meant to look a little bit like it's been weathered. Uh, the logo's a little bit ripped up on purpose. Uh, this hat was from Dick's Sporting Goods. It is a new era 940 adjustable hat. Um, and I like it a lot. I think the quality of it's really nice. It looks really nice, um, as you can see. Uh, and it's the mesh back, obviously, to look kind of like a trucker hat. And I like those types of hats. Um, there's the bottom of it and the inside. It's pretty simple. I like the outline in the white right here. And the logo's pretty clear to see, which is always nice. It's really good quality. Um, but yeah. Alrighty, guys, I have something else to show you. This is something a little bit smaller, but still pretty cool. As you can see, I have Golden State Warriors mask and an Oakland A's mask. And I just thought I would show these because they're pretty cool. Now, I hope I won't have to be wearing masks for too much longer because, you know, it's, it's been a long time. But it's pretty cool. I, as you can see, here's the A's one. Obviously, it has the circle logo and just the regular A's logo. And I think I'll be wearing this to when I go to games this season. Uh, but pretty cool, as you can see. Looks pretty nice. Um, and then here for the Warriors one. Uh, it has the wordmark logo and the regular logo. Um, I like that one a lot. It's pretty cool. Um, I like the colorway. Um, it has little W's for Warriors on it. And yeah, so there you go. Warriors mask and Oakland A's mask. 